When a storm hits, SCE&G is on your side, working safely and quickly to restore your power. An assessment of the damage caused by the storm is the first step our crews take towards restoring your power. So we may do one of two things. We may do a very brief assessment, depending on the level of damage, or we may need to do a detailed assessment, or we may need to do both. A brief assessment would be where we place someone who has technical knowledge. This could be a technician, an engineer, possibly a lineman put them in a vehicle and let them basically do a riding assessment. We need to get a very quick assessment of where we have trees down, where we have broken poles, you know, where we have vegetation issues that need to be taken care of. We could be blocking a roadway. We need to know those major things so we can put our resources on them very quickly. A detailed assessment would be where we take a technical person, we put them in a vehicle to get them to the location where our circuit is located, and we actually want to put eyes on every single pole, every wire, everything that we have to determine its condition and whether or not we need to replace it or we need to do some type of maintenance to it. Once assessments are completed, SCE&G crews begin clearing obstructions and repairing poles and power lines. So our restoration system could involve every asset that we own. Typically, it only involves our distribution system. That is what, in, in most cases, is impacted. So we're trying to clear them, take care of any impacts to them. It could be a tree, it could be a broken pole, it could be a wire down. Once we get that cleared, we're able to get large numbers of customers back on. At the same time, we are uh, looking at our priority customers, which drives a lot of our uh, process in terms of where we actually concentrate our resources first. So we're looking at police stations, fire stations, a lot of the municipal services that are provided to our customers in our service territory. We know that we need to get them back on first. It could be uh, wastewater and water treatment plants as well, hospitals, things like that, that need to come back on first. That's what drives us and that's what points us as to where we need to place our resources. 